stage would be to for me to find them. These people thought we were in some la-la land. They weren't willing to accept the fact that Arizona had grew up. I was working near 4th Avenue in Clarendon, June 2nd, 1976, and we heard a big boom. We heard a man scream. It was a loud As I entered the parking lot, I noticed a Datsun white four-door had backed out of the parking space, and the door was open. A man was laying outside face down. He raised up and said, help me, help me. Phoenix was full of not particularly nice guys when Don Bowles was killed, all but a few of which had nothing to do with killing him. Maybe they exercised frontier justice and killed Bowles for his unkind words about Kemper. He told one of his friends, my people don't give immunity. He knew he could never testify against the mafia. He was a perfectly competent killer. Strangle you, stab you. And Neil made a statement to the effect because they wanted done loud and clear. Apparently this was not negotiable. This was an insisted aspect of the homicide. More and more of the suppressed evidence I was discovering had a consistent theme to it. Absolutely consistent with Don's dying words about Adamson, Emprise, and the Mafia. Okay, if I've decided that I don't want this documentary to go, I don't need to go anywhere to make it go away. I'll just kill you. 